Hi everyone, Trishna here. Welcome to the weekly energy reading, oracle card reading, tarot card reading for the week of November 22nd to November 28th. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a Celtic cross using oracle cards. I'm actually going to be using a very new deck that I just got called The Wisdom of Avalon by Colette Baron reed I bought four different oracle decks recently and the other three, you know, after using them the first couple times, it really hasn't truly resonate with me just yet. Like I didn't truly connect with it the first few times that I used it. And that's fine. Like sometimes it takes a little time to get to know the cards or get a feel for the style or kind of the, the idea behind the cards. But with the Wisdom of the Avalon, the first time I used it, it was amazing. And I used it with a client. It was amazing. So we're going to be using that deck today. And this week, if you are in America or the United States of America, there's a lot of different Americas, I guess. We are actually going to be celebrating Thanksgiving this week, and I went to a moon ceremony this past Friday to celebrate the Taurus eclipse. And um, in that ceremony, I learned that the way that the planets are aligned with different squares and Pluto and Jupiter and things like that, I don't remember all the details, but the way that the planets are aligned, we are kind of set up for a dramatic Thanksgiving Thursday evening with a lot of possible tension and issues that can arise. So. I'm especially interested to look into the energy this week to just see what the cards have to say about this energy. Sometimes astrology affects certain people and not others. A lot of times it doesn't actually affect me. So I just want to get a better idea of what the playing field is going to look like for us, for the collective, for this audience, because it could be different from what is being told out there. And if we do see some of that tension in the reading, then I want us to talk about, you know, I want us to look into how we can handle it and diffuse some of that or maybe get some kind of growth out of it that will serve us and others involved going forward. So at least making the best of the energies, whatever they may be. So with that, I am going to start shuffling the cards. And the way that I have recently been doing my videos is I now shuffle on camera. Didn't used to do that before. It takes a while because I like to use jumper cards. But as I'm shuffling, I will share any kind of clairvoyant, intuitive, psychic types of messages. Once all the cards are out on the table, I will then read the cards as well. So sometimes it's like double reading. Anyways, so let's get into what do we need to know for the week of November 22nd to November 28th. And if you're not in the United States, that is okay. This reading should apply to you as well because I'm not focusing specifically on like Thanksgiving. I'm just going to focus on the energies and what we need to know. Hmm, what would most serve us? I feel like this is going to be an exciting week. Yes, there may be some tension, but I feel like it's more around excitement. I feel like for us, this audience, we may not be the biggest speakers in the group. So even if there is a lot of tension that happens on Thursday, and that tension is astrological. So that's going to happen whether you celebrate Thanksgiving or not, I guess. But for those of us, I feel like this audience, what I'm feeling is we're not really the biggest talkers. So there may be some drama going on around us, but I feel like for us, we're not really going to be pulled into the drama. We're going to be around it maybe, maybe seeing some of it unfold, but we're not going to be the ones that are involved in it. And I feel like our experience of maybe watching it happen in front of us is going to be okay. Like we're not going to see it as anything drastic, earth shattering. Oh my God, the world's crashing down in front of us in my social circle, family circle. We're not going to feel that way about it. We're just going to think, oh, okay, yeah, there's conflict. It happens when there's a gathering of people or around holidays, even if you're not gathering. Sometimes there's issues and conflicts. It's just normal. <laughs> and so we're probably going to be like, oh yeah, like I remember there's supposed to be tension so I can kind of see it, but also, yeah, it's not anything out of the ordinary. So my feel is we don't have very much to worry about. So that's good. You kind of wanted to jump, so we're just going to pull you. All right. What else do we need to know for this week? Oh, there we go. Ooh, sometimes it takes me. Okay, so I saw you first. I saw you second. And I didn't see you originally. Oh, and I didn't see you originally. I saw you third. And for some reason, I'm feeling like we should use this card, so we're going to put you to the side. All right. Sometimes it takes a really long time for the cards to come out. <laughs> so I'm glad that we got 
we got, let's see, one, two, three, four, four of the major cards, and then I just pulled an extra, I mean, one other feels like it wants to be heard. It's not going to be part of the spread, or should it? I don't know. We'll feel it out. Okay. Anyways, focusing on the energies that we need to know for this week. I feel like there's going to be something music related this week for somebody out there. Now, I don't just mean listening to music because don't we all listen to music at some point? That's not particularly unusual, but I feel like the message that I'm getting for somebody out there around music is you may be getting back into music, maybe playing music. Maybe there's an instrument that you used to play when you were younger, maybe in high school or in band or something like that. And I feel like you're going to reunite with it and maybe pull it out of its dusty old case and just play a few notes on there and kind of reunite with that. So I feel like there's something around musical instruments or bringing music back into your life, not in a passive way where you're listening to it, but in an active way. What else? Marching band is coming up. Some of you may have kids and they may be starting or interested in joining the marching band, something around that. I think it'll be fun for them. Some of them may be getting ready for like holiday marching band kind of events. So it might be cold, make sure that they dress warm, especially their hands, get gloves. And if you don't get the finger gloves and get gloves that are cheap, cut little holes here. <laughs> and then that way most of their fingers covered except for maybe just their tips. Bring hot chocolate <laughs> for yourself and for them when they're done. Make sure there's marshmallows, the little mini ones. <laughs> Don't know why I'm getting that, but that's what I'm getting. What else? Around music, I feel like some of you may be going to a symphony. So a little bit passive or kind of listening to music, but I feel like it's going to be more an event, something that you're going out to go do as like a holiday thing or something to do, like a winter thing. Getting something around ETs and aliens that's been popping up a lot in my messages. Uh, I saw that originally more for 2022, but I'm feeling like something may come out around that this week. For somebody out there. What else? Someone may be going out and experimenting with recreational drugs, I guess. I feel like the idea behind it is more spiritual, not just for the fun of it. I feel like there's real intention behind it. Not like serious intention, but like something spiritual related. Like, yeah, it'd be nice for that reason too. What else? Something's coming up about Sunday. I feel like Sunday is going to be Maybe a more relaxing day. Maybe a time where you can decompress, let go. Have a slow morning, you know? Kind of a slow, but nicely so slow day. That's nice. Sometimes people get the Sunday blues on Sunday because they go to the office or work on Monday. I know that I have gotten those in my past many times especially in toxic situations. But this Sunday, I think it's gonna be fine. Which is interesting because sometimes on a Sunday, right after a long weekend, we're not ready to go back to work and we feel the Sunday blues even more strongly, but I feel like, I feel like everyone's gonna be all right. <clears throat> all right, we need three more cards. What other messages? I feel like this is going to be kind of a productive week. So I feel like the if you have a side business or something like that, I feel like you may be a little bit more productive in that area. Or it could be at work itself. That's also interesting considering around holiday time periods we tend to be a little less productive because we're, we're ready for that break. But I feel like feeling productivity this week, Monday through Wednesday. That's good. 
You may actually be more motivated to work on Wednesday, even though that's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. If you are in the United States, you might be on a roll. That's good. Indulge it, but make sure that once six o'clock maybe hits, that you do relax and you start getting into vacation mode. You need the rejuvenation. Three more cards. What am I gonna do with this other card that fell out? I feel like maybe you could be part of this. Oh, look at this. We got three more cards. Okay. Let's take a look <laughs> at what the wisdom of Avalon wants to share with us. So, our main energy is focus. It's also the number 33, which I like. That's a master number. Do we have any more? No, but we do have other threes. That's cool. Okay. This is a week where we're definitely going to be focusing. Now, focusing could be what I just talked about with regards to work and being more productive, but I feel like we're really going to be focusing on who we are and who we want to be during this week. How do we want to show up? For example, if you are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving, you may be very focused on being as balanced as possible, maybe not taking things personally and really trying to embody that energy, really trying to focus on inner strength, inner power and inner control and really focusing on that so that no matter what comes our way this week, we're, we're not going to just react or take things personally or explode or let things get out of hand. So I feel like we're really trying to focus our energy more so than anything and channeling that in very healthy ways. I feel like that is what we really want to do this week. What is crossing it is the fire fairy. It's important to not be too protective of the self. When we're so focused on our energy and really wanting to be balanced or be like really clear and moving in a very particular direction, sometimes that can make us want to not engage with too many other people or too many other things because we don't want our balance, we don't want our focus to be taken away from us, we don't want anything to distract us from our goal or possibly lead us down a path that we don't want to be led down. And look at this, this is a path. There's a path that we really want to be on. And what's crossing us is a fear that we will be taken off of that path. But what I'm getting here is don't try to seclude yourself from other people to protect your energy this week. Sometimes that is something that's important. Sometimes that is something that we need to do, especially if you have a really big goal in your life that you want to achieve or that you want to manifest. Sometimes it's better just to keep it to yourself and not to indulge it or explain it or express it too much to other people just so that their energies, their opinions don't cloud your particular energy and opinions and then shift your ability to manifest it or the speed. But I feel like this week, don't, res don't keep yourself reserved. Don't keep yourself separated from people. Be open to hanging out with them. Even if you feel like you need to protect yourself so you can stay focused, you're going to be fine. I feel like it's going to be good to loosen up a little bit this week. Yes, the focus is very good, being focused on your energy, but it is important to loosen up a little bit this week and not be so hardcore about it. I would like to know why. Why do we need to be, be more relaxed about this? What guidance do you have? The queen, interesting, because we also have the, queen, the king out here. The queen. Somebody who's truly in control and has that inner focus and inner strength is somebody who can handle that regardless of the situations around them. And so while you may be trying to have this energetic control or this energetic focus, you may be trying to save it for particular events that have to come to you and you don't want to indulge in anything outside of that because you want to protect yourself. But a true queen, somebody who's truly in charge of their energy and their focus and is truly balanced, 
can go out into the world and not have to feel like they have to protect themselves because they know that they can always stay in balance, they can always stay in focus, and even if they get out of it, they can always bring themselves back very quickly. So be relaxed because that's gonna really allow you to truly empower yourself the way that you want to. If you stay closed in, you're not going to have the experiences that show you, one, that you are already very capable in the way that you wanna be, and two, it's not gonna give you the experiences that tell you where maybe you could do a little bit more work or you know, have a little bit of missteps in your goals. You know, and that's gonna pay off now when you can catch it sooner so then you can handle it and deal with it and improve and grow versus down the line when it could become a bigger problem. So yes, all right. Not that I think it's gonna become a bigger problem. I feel like it's important for growth. All right, so the foundation energy is protection. That makes a lot of sense given what we just talked about. This desire to really wanna protect yourself, the guidance I feel is that you don't really need to protect yourself. You are safe, you are okay. Whatever you may fear could come. I feel like fear is a strong word, but whatever you may be concerned could come your way. I feel like you can 100% handle, you are extremely strong, and that is who you are, is a strong, balanced, energetically focused person. Very present, very strong in your energy. That is already who you are. That's why you can let go and be more laid back. That's why you are, you are the queen. It's not just about stepping into the queen. You also are the queen. So you don't need to protect yourself. Just know that. You can handle anything that comes your way this week and even beyond that. So the recent past slash lessons that we need to bring into this time, we have the raven. Magic, coincidence, synchronistic events. I feel like you may have been stressed recently. You maybe have been, oh, interesting. <laughs> you maybe have been lashing out a little bit or maybe, yeah, possibly taking things personally, maybe not realizing that in the moment, but when you reflect on it later, you realize that maybe you could have handled things differently or maybe not lashed out or maybe... Um, been a little bit more relaxed about particular situations. So that's why you really want to be focused on your energy. That's why you really want to kind of be in balance. That's why you're working and focusing so hard on this and not wanting to allow things to affect you as much, not wanting to, basically wanting to handle situations better. That's, that's what's driving this. Good, good, that's a good driver. You're, you've already improved. Just in your realization of all of this, just in your reflection, you have already improved. You're only gonna get better from here. And sometimes things can take a little bit of time, like a few different tries before you really nail it. I feel like you're already there or you're really close to there. And you need to go out in the world and test it to make sure that you are, maybe with people that <laughs> you're less close to, <laughs> um, so that you don't continue to hurt anybody that you may have felt like you hurt. Yeah, we also had the owl deception and wisdom. This popped up right around the same time. It didn't pop up, but I saw it and felt like I needed to include it, so. You may be worried that your perception of the world is deceiving you, that you weren't looking at things as wisely as you thought or as you wanted. So you may be a little bit concerned about your own perception of the world and reality. That's okay. Don't get upset with yourself about that. Things happen. Conflicts happen like we talked about in the intuitive portion. You're growing. And that's like a bit of a misstep that's already happened that you don't need to worry about anymore. You're settling down, your energy is settling down. Sometimes whenever we are generally wise and then we hit a situation that makes us question that wisdom, it's not a bad thing. It just means that you're about to up-level to a new level of wisdom. That's why you have to kind of fall backwards because when you fall backwards a little bit, it makes you realize that you want more wisdom or you want it differently or you thought you had it, you thought you had it, but you don't when you actually do. But it, it makes you take a step back and realize a little bit more about what you want or what you want to have changed in your life. And when you can see that, automatically you've put out a request to the universe to create that. So you've already created this. It's okay. The step back only helps you grow further. It's like one step back, two steps forward every single time. So you're always moving upwards. And in the 
Star Sisters, the Seven Star Sisters reading that I did last week. I talked about how overall society is moving upwards and maybe it doesn't always feel that way and especially in a given decade it may not feel that way but it's kind of like a stock market trend where you go up and then you go down a little bit and then you go up and then you go down a little bit but overall the trend is going upwards. So that's what's going on here is you are going upwards. Sometimes you take, you go down a little bit but then it just shoots you upwards even higher than where you were before. So this is positive. I hope I'm getting that point across. All right, so the crowning energy is the king man authority male sexual energy things pertaining to the law and justice i feel like you have this fear that you are becoming or you will be too dictatorial in your life that is a concern for you that is not an aspect of you that you like to be that's not an aspect of you that you like to express that's not who you want to be and i feel like you are concerned about it if not then you're concerned someone else in your life is being this way to you energies can be mixed but and this is a general reading, but that's what I feel. You are concerned about coming on too strong, too strictly, too controllingly like. I feel like you're right, this isn't you. This may be something that you have been influenced by maybe through the astrological energies that are present or maybe through recent events that have happened, but it's not who you are. And I feel like you don't need to be too worried about it. Yes, you do need to be worried about it in the short term. That's why you're doing all this work of really trying to focus your energy, be balanced. Keep yourself from situations to protect yourself that you feel may trigger some of this behavior or presence in you because of things that you've done in the past, like with the raven. But remember the owl you may have taken a step back, but you're going to catapult forward. So just remember that. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Just just give it a little bit of time. Do the work that you're doing, but be open, be relaxed. Know that you are the queen. And I think in a week or two, this dictatorial thing that you may feel like you are embodying or being or you're worried about it, I feel like it's going to fade in about two weeks, if not sooner. So it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, guys. And as I was feeling in the intuitive portion, if you're worried that that might come up during, let's say, Thursday when the astrological events are supposed to be, you know, just ripe for issues to happen, especially in your close circles. If you're worried about that, just remember that what I was getting for this audience is that you're probably not going to be someone that's talking a lot during that time period. You're probably going to be someone that's a little bit more chilling, relaxing, kind of in the back background of sorts there, but just kind of like not a part of... The main discussion or the main drama and that's gonna work to your benefit so i feel like the energy is in your in your favor this week so you don't need to worry about that kind of let it sort itself out do your healing work your manifestation work to kind of grow in the ways that you want to grow relax more remember that your power comes from within not from without and yeah you'll you'll be good i'm just feeling a lot of stress i think that's why i'm like i keep talking about this because i'm like feeling a lot of stress around this for people so what is around the corner we have the butterfly beauty You are going through a transformation. It may feel slow, it may feel rocky, it may not feel like it's going very well for you, but you are. I feel like this is not just in relation to what we've talked about. I feel like it's in relation to maybe some goals that you have in your life. Some things that you've been wanting, some things that you've been wishing for. I feel like the transformation's happening. It feels slow, it feels rocky. It feels like you might get disappointed or things aren't going as well as they were originally and you're wondering what's up with that. But you are going through a transformation. Again, just be patient. This patience may require about three months. It can be shorter. It could be like two months. But it does require your patience. With that said, the sooner you embody patience, the quicker the timeline moves up for you and you could have this much sooner than two months. It's really about how easily you embrace the patience. You don't need to know that you're going through a transformation to speed up the timeline. You can be oblivious to that, that's okay. It's about just being patient and that will speed up timelines for you. Yeah. Anything else that you wanna share? Butterfly? 
Yeah. Should I pull a card? Let's just do it because I'm kind of feeling it. Anything else that we want to share that's just around the corner? You're going through an evolution and evolution sometimes takes a little time. Now it's not going to take a million years like traditional evolution. On the internal level, it, it can be a lot quicker and that's what you're going through. I think that you are going to be so much more at peace in December. So mentally, oh God, you're going to, I just feel it. It feels amazing. You're going to be so much more at peace in December mentally. You're going to have a better feel for the flows of the universe, a better feel for just going with the timing. I think you're going to have some smaller wins along the way as a result of that. That's going to not be everything that you want. So maybe a little disappointing, but at the same time, you're going to be like, something's working, something's happening. The universe is responding in some way. I can see it. I can feel it. It's happening. I wish it were bigger, but it's there. It must mean that at least I'm on the right track, even if I'm not right where I want to be. All right. So what else is around the corner? We got the dog, loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. This is what you need to embody for yourself. Unconditional love, loyalty to yourself, to your goals, to what you want, to believing in yourself. When you don't believe in yourself, you're not being loyal to yourself. So be loyal to yourself. There is so much that can happen in your reality. There are so many things that you think are impossible now that could 100% happen if you want them to. So be loyal to yourself. Crazy, awesome things happen to other people. Be loyal to yourself and believe that they can happen to you too. That you're worthy. Be loyal to yourself. Unconditionally love yourself. Yes, and I do feel like this is quite a theme, right? It's, it's different, but I feel like it's definitely a message that's coming through in other ways here. Be patient with yourself. Be understanding with yourself. Trust yourself. Give yourself loyalty and unconditional love. All right, so looking at some additional energies, we have the frog cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. <laughs> this frog is so cute. <laughs> I feel like you may actually be doing some cleaning house. I feel like we're going with the exact thing that it's trying to tell us here with the words of the card, it's kind of straight up. But not cleaning house in terms of like people and relationships. I think like physically the house. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to share? Nope, not getting anything else. All right, we'll move to the next one. And if I feel like we need to pull a card for that, we will. Joy. Beautiful. This is definitely an energy that you want to have. I feel like though this week, the joy is going to have to be where you choose to find it. You're going to have to find it in the moments that you can, that you want. Because I think you are going to be very focused on being productive, like I was saying in the intuitive portion. When we're really productive, we, we sometimes forget about our feelings because we're so much like on a roll and doing stuff and that feels good that we kind of forget about ourselves outside of the activities that we feel like we need to do and how we feel just in ourselves. So because you're going to be very focused, because there's going to be a lot of on your mind, there's going to be a lot of stress, you're, you have all these thoughts about needing to protect yourself or feeling like you're becoming controlling or things that you've done in the past recently that you don't feel that great about, you are going to have some stress that's going on. So joy is something that you can have this week, but it's definitely something that you're going to have to find on your own and actively look for and find in the little moments of your day. That could be just getting a little cup of tea, that could be just having a moment of breathing and being like, oh yeah, like joy, joy, joy. That could be going for a really quick walk, but I feel like this week, joy exists, but you will have to be the one that looks for it. It's not just going to come to you this week. It's there, so it doesn't need to come to you, but you're going to have to be the one that notices it, notices that it's there. Next card we have is communication. Communication may be kind of limited this week in the sense that 
You may not be saying as much, which ties into the intuitive portion. People may be a little bit slower to respond. It's not going to bother you. I feel like this week in terms of communication is going to be much more slower paced for you. Slow, relaxed, chill. You respond to people over text, let's say. They take a little while to get back to you. You don't really care. You're just kind of in more of a relaxed mode in that respect. Communication, let's say at Thanksgiving, may feel really fast. And that may be why you're not participating as much because it's just like boom, 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 fast. Everybody's talking, everybody's excited. And you can't entirely keep up in some ways. Like energetically you can, but maybe mentally or with words you can't. So you just kind of let it happen and maybe just focus on eating and just like picking up on what you can. So communication around you may be happening very quickly at these events. But in for you personally, you may not be putting out a lot. Even if you're texting somebody, you may not say as many words as you normally do. So that's my feel. It doesn't feel negative at all. It actually feels really positive. I do want to pull a card for the frog. <laughs> Anything else? I don't feel like, it says on there that we're going to be releasing emotional baggage. I don't really feel that way. I feel like we probably have emotional baggage to lose, but it's just not going to be the week where we have time for that or where we focus on that. That might be later, like Sunday or some other time. But I don't feel like, I feel like there's just going to be too much going on this week. Whether you are busy with work and being productive, whether you are getting ready for Thanksgiving and just dealing with all of that, whether you're just dealing with what's going on with you here that we talked about. Um, at the beginning of this card read portion i just i don't think releasing emotional baggage is what we're going to be doing at least not consciously so i'm filming this on sunday november 21st so if emotional baggage is something you do want to release today is the day to do it or wait a week i mean you could do it before then i just don't think you're really going to get to it so yeah today's a day if you want to release stuff because you're probably not going to be thinking about it or have time to focus on it before then. And you don't necessarily want it to build up if you feel like there's stuff you need to release. So we got movement. I feel like this week we're gonna want certain areas of our life to maybe move more quickly. I feel like if you're celebrating the holidays with family and things like that, you don't really want that to move quickly. You, I feel like you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be nice. Even with its ups and downs, I feel like for the most part, it's going to be enjoyable. It's just nice. It's just like something very predictable. <laughs> you kind of know who's going to say what, how they're going to say it, the things that they're going to say, the tone that they're going to say it with. You kind of can see, and, and predictability can be boring at some times, but sometimes like now it's just nice. It's like, I know what's gonna happen. I know what to expect. I can chill because I already know. Like there's no surprises, I can just relax. So in certain places, we're not gonna want movement to happen quicker, but we may want more movement to happen in our personal growth journey, especially with our fears of maybe being dictatorial or the hurt that we feel like we may have inflicted on others with the raven and the focus that we're really wanting to have within ourselves and really being solid. So we may want movement to happen and from a personal growth perspective, we may want more movement to happen, like the butterfly with our particular goals that we're trying to manifest. So there's gonna be certain ways where we want movement to happen. It is happening. It is 100% happening. I think there may be a surprise that happens, like maybe if it's a goal, there may be a good sign that happens. If it's something individual, you may feel better about things or have ideas on how to handle things better or just know, like know within you that things are going to be better, you're going to be better, etc. So I feel like there's going to be movement. It just may not be in the most obvious of ways. There's going to be movement, but maybe just a little bit beneath the surface where you can feel it, you can see it, but maybe it's not like clear cut and dry, tangible kind of movement. And finally, we have the stag. Pride and leadership. I do feel like you're becoming the leader of your life and of your own destiny. I feel like you're understanding what leadership means to you, or you will. 
and that it's your own particular definition, not the traditional definition. You may not like the traditional definition of leadership. Some of you may like it because you like the word, you like the idea, the concept. And so right now you're on this journey of just learning what it means to other people and what you, and kind of embodying their meanings and taking it on as your own. But for many of you, like you already know what your style of leadership is, what you want it to be, what you consider a good leader. And it is very individual to you. And I feel like you're going to start stepping into it a little bit more, a little bit more. You may have been a little bit shy to step into it. You may have been a little bit hesitant. You may have felt a little unworthy of stepping into your particular style of leadership. Standing up for yourself. Putting what you want out there. Not fearing rejection. So there may be some of that that you've been dealing with. And it's starting to come to an end. You're starting to go through a transformation of it. And... I don't think it's going to happen overnight, but I feel like the little baby steps are happening. We are having a little bit of movement. So the baby steps are happening. I feel like you can acknowledge them. I feel like you can look at it and just think about how far you've come. You feel good about the steps that you're taking, even if it's not the end goal that you want to be at. So yeah, no, I feel like this is good. If this doesn't resonate, the leadership part, I think maybe it will. Maybe it will in the next couple weeks. But yeah, no, you're really starting to step into your own and really be your own person and really be strong in who you are and honor yourself and show yourself that loyalty and that unconditional love. So yeah, like this seems like things that you need to work on, but things that you're ultimately going to end up at too. So good. Very good. All right. Well, <laughs> that concludes the reading for the week of November 22nd to November 28th. I hope it was helpful. I hope you have a really wonderful week. I hope that you know that you are going to be growing in really powerful ways, that transformation is happening, but be patient. The quicker you're patient, the quicker things will come to you, that you really are loyal to yourself and believe in yourself and have the self-worth, that you step into the leadership position that you want to, that you're, you know, that you take those baby steps and honor each one of those steps on that journey because it's beautiful. And I hope that you find joy in the little moments and that you're active about it because God damn, that like just boosts and powers up your energy and just bring so much more into life. It's so powerful when we just find the little moments on our own. So this joy thing, you know, it's really easy to feel joyful when it just comes to us and these like, boom, amazing things. And that's great. But all of those boom moments came from the little moments of us recognizing the joy when we can. And when we have to recognize it for ourselves and take that time, there's more intention towards it and it becomes even more powerful and we feel it even more. So Anyways, I hope this is a wonderful week for you. I hope that this was helpful and I hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next video.